This is 219 News Now, brought to you by Strachan Van Til, making lives easier for 94 years. I'm Andrew Garcia, and this is your 219 News Now. Powers Health announced that it will open a new emergency department in Valparaiso later this year. The new freestanding facility will be built at the St. Mary Medical Outpatient Center and will span 7,000 square feet and contain two triage rooms, six treatment rooms, and three negative pressure rooms for patients with infectious diseases. This new emergency department is an expansion of the depth of services already offered and is an investment in the well-being of our community, said St. Mary Medical Center CEO Janice Riba. Jason Remmel of Laporte Schools and Susan Schell of Michigan City were among the finalists announced on Friday for the 2025 Indiana Teacher of the Year Award. LPHS Principal Scott Upp praised Remmel, saying Jason is an exemplary teacher with a strong commitment to student success and professional growth. Being a kindergarten teacher is a giant responsibility because we set the tone for the beginning of student school journeys, Schell said. Police say a man and woman stole perfumes and cosmetics during a smash-and-grab robbery at the Ulta store on Indianapolis Boulevard. Officers said they were called out to the store shortly after 5 p.m. Sunday, where they learned the man had used a crowbar to smash glass display cases. He and the female began to load items into a bag, police said. No employees or witnesses were injured during the incident, police said. If you have any information on this incident, call Highland Police at 219-838-3184. And in sports, in 2021, the Andran football team captured the 2A state championship and nearly repeated the following year with a return trip to Lucas Oil Stadium. Though they weren't able to replicate that success in 2023, the 59ers continue to have expectations of playing deep into the state tournament. Head coach Chris Skinner sat down with sports director Sam Michael to talk about the level of preparation that goes into making a deep postseason run and how meaningful it is to both players and coaches. I was fortunate enough to play in that game as a player myself. And there's so many details. I actually got to be a part of two of them, one as a freshman and one as a junior. There's so many details about those games and that weekend and just kind of the culmination of just like a year of hard work, right? That those things are like vividly in my mind still. Like I can still remember walking around the tunnel in the RCA dome with Tommy Finn sneaking into the Colts locker room and like looking at Peyton Manning's locker before we even played the game. Um, so I can relive a lot of those memories. And so the, the best part about that is like a, a coach now is like our staff, like that's what we value the most is like we get to provide our kids with that experience. That's, that's the coolest part because those are memories that you know are never going to go away. Um, you know, obviously winning, there's kind of a different tone afterwards than losing. But uh, again, to finish the season at kind of like the ultimate goal is a rewarding experience and, and one that um, is not easy to be forgotten. To read up on more local news and headlines, visit JedTV.com and NWI.com. I'm Andrew Garcia and this has been your 219 News Now.